Emma, Molly, and Alia, how are you? Good, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> how are you? Not bad, thank you. Congratulations on everything I know about love premiering on Peacock August 25. I very much enjoyed it. I've already watched it. Let me tell you, you ladies are so convincing as flatmates. I believe you like you guys are like lifelong friends. Uh, but let me ask you guys this. Uh, what do you think makes a good flatmate? We've heard stories about flatmate from hell or roommate from hell. I want to approach it from a positive angle. What do you think are the criteria for what a good flatmate would be? Yeah, I think it's a really awkward thing sometimes to live with people, especially if you don't know them, which kind of happens more so than not in London when you're moving to London. So just like someone who respects your space and, you know, you can can kind of test the waters when to come together, when to be apart. I feel like that socially aware is helpful in that mm. sense. And if they're like a little bit clean, that's not a bad thing either. <laughs> a little bit tidy, that's nice. <laughs> someone that brings home presents. <laughs> <laughs> these are awesome ideas i'm taking mental notes definitely <laughs> just small presents like oh i bought you home a chocolate egg you'd be like you're the best person in the world <laughs> I'm <afraid> more rent. <laughs> i love the the moments of you guys uh, doing odd jobs you know like wearing that pig outfit handing out flyers i've done some quirky jobs in the past i'm just curious uh, before you, get, you you ladies became actresses what were some of the odd jobs previous odd jobs that you guys did to get by yeah, I, I worked in a supermarket as a checkout girl, as a waitress, or the dishwasher. I was the worst in London. Was I used to hand out cans of, I think I hand, cans of coke. It was like promotional stuff. So you'd hand them out like people coming out of the tube. You'd hand them, and they'd be so angry at you giving them free stuff <laughs> that they would like swear at you. And and part of the thing was like you have to open it for it's like the coke like sound like the wow. it's, you have to do it or you'll get fired. And so many people were like, "Don't touch my drink. Don't open my drink." And I'd be like. It's free. Wow. Have it. I'm, I'm just imagining Emma's imaginary flatmate bringing one of the goats home. <laughs> I, oh. and, I, and then I'd make them dinner because they bought me home a free drink. Right? Like, yeah. Um, I was, I used to work in like a, uh, like a pharmacy kind of store, but they were like, no, you're not allowed to go to the pharmacy section. You can sell perfume. And I got really good at selling perfume. Um, and then I was a waitress for about three weeks until they were like, you're, this isn't for you. <laughs> <laughs> I found holding no. is really difficult. Oh. Oh. Um, no, I, I did like hosting for like classes. I mean, it's not that odd. It was kind of fun actually. It was like online like this and different <laughs> creators would kind of come on and like a group of people would like sign up for classes and I'd like host the class to be like, hey guys, today we have this person who's speaking about this and they'd all come and speak about different things. So I just kind of got to learn about those stuff for free. Like this one woman who's this incredible drummer would come on and like do lessons and she was like, just get two pencils guys and like, we're gonna learn like the basis of drumming. And I'd just be there like as the host, just like learning how to drum. So yeah, that was really fun. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm guys. Uh, I'm glad you guys are uh, actresses now. So leaving the, all those odd jobs behind. <laughs> and, fi and finally, uh, some people, you know, are like, you know, Maggie. Some people are like Maggie when when it comes to love. Leave it to chance. Leave it to fate. Leave it to destiny. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. While other people would disagree. They'd be like, no. When it comes to love, you got to be more proactive. You got to pursue. You got to chase. You got to stay on top of it. So which camp? Which camp are you guys in? Do you think one is right and the other is wrong, or do you think? Uh, it's a little bit of both I, I definitely feel like the proactive I feel like when when I was on tinder I was like it was like a job I was like taking it very seriously like you got to find all the like yeah make spreadsheets of like the kind of person you'd want like I don't know if that's right mm. but it's definitely what the camp that I lean towards I'd say yeah I, I think it's so hard to say right and wrong like Marley just said like what works for you kind of just like works but so I say a bit of both because Sometimes there's an element of you have to kind of give to like get what you want, like put in a bit of work. Like it's like a relationship, right? 100%, 100%, not 50%, 50%, 100%, 100%. But then also a sense of like, um, it shouldn't be that hard, especially at the beginning, I think in my opinion. So, you know, kind of balancing between like, you know, if it's meant to be, it will be. Yeah, I think they both put it really, really well. I mean, I think there's a little bit of like fatalistic stuff. Like if it's going to work out, it will. Like Ali said, like you shouldn't have to force it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I'd be quite like Maggie of like, I'm not going to give you my number. And <laughs> like a bit too 
I love her ambition with that and the magic, but I, I think I'm a bit more realistic than that. But mm. then also I think like, you know, if someone likes you, someone's mm. not texting you back, just take that as they are not texting you back for a reason. Ah, uh, thank you for sharing that ladies. All right, for my fans at home, go check out everything I know about love premiering on Peacock, August 25th. Emma, Marley, Aliyah, thank you for talking to me and congratulations. Thank, thank you, you Rama. <laughs> Thank you.